Hi, my name is Kitty and I'm a geek. I mean, it's true, I'm really new at this whole blogging thing and I'm just now learning how to do things like edit and, you know, use a computer, but I'm a quick learner and I think it's really fun and I love vlogging. It's one of my favorite things to do. Also, recently I lost my job, but that's okay because I hated my job. It had nothing to do with what I want to do with my life. I'm a really creative person. I like to do things like art, photography, film, craft. I like to paint, um, creative writing, and I just love expressing myself through my fingertips. Uh, I'm a geek at heart, and I like to show you what I like to do. So I've been making stuff like this. It's a Doctor Who inspired frame, and I'm probably going to frame myself and my boyfriend in it eventually when I print a picture. But I really love it. It took me a couple days to paint it, and I might add a couple more strokes of paint to it, but it's pretty neat. Woo -hoo -hoo. I've also painted stuff like this. And this. Not sure what I will frame in here, but it's pretty cool. There are pearls all along the side, and there's a hidden Mickey on top. Yeah. I love comic books, and I started collecting Adventure Time comic books. That is next on my to-do list. Some of my favorites are definitely the Buffy graphic novels. I have them all, I just don't know where they are at the moment. So this is mine and my boyfriend's giant box of comic books. I mean, it has everything from like Archie to all his Marvel comic books, which when I discovered I nearly had a heart attack and I knew he was the man for me. Um, yeah, this whole box is basically nothing but comic books and it's huge and I cannot even lift it. So, you know, when we have kids and people ask us, you know, so what collections do you have? We're going to be like comic books. That's what we're passing on to our kids, comic books. So what else can I offer the Geek and Sundry channel? Well, how about stuff like this? I want to do a series of DIYs and not only learn, but also teach how to make stuff like this. A steampunk inspired bracelet using just leather cord and chain. And you can add some accents like a hidden Mickey and some gears. Also, this is a necklace that's made with two old chains that I had some copper wire and this antique I don't know what it is it could be a brooch it could be a pin but I incorporated into the necklace and it's gonna be pretty cool it's not done yet but those are just some of the ideas that I want to incorporate into this vlogging channel also since I'm obsessed with shows like Doctor Who and Game of Thrones I would love to have the opportunity to talk about stuff like this and communicate with some of the other fans and just have discussions. For example, recently a question was posted on Twitter. If a weeping angel meets the silence and the silence turns away, does the weeping angel forget the encounter or does it attack the silence? Hmm. Based on the information we have from season 4 episode 5, The Time of the Angels, we know that this weeping angels do have a conscious mind. Remember Angel Bob and that whole thing? Yes. They do have a conscious mind. Therefore, the silence would be able to affect the, the weeping angel somehow. So, what I think happens is, since the silence attacks with electricity, the weeping angel does remember the counter, the silence turns away, the weeping angel does attack, the silence attacks back, the weeping angel touches the silence and sends it to a different time period, which would be completely useless because the silence are already spread all over the world in between different time periods, and the silence then group together, attack the Weeping Angel in a group, and either damage it really badly or destroy it completely. Steven Moffat, take note, I want that in the next episode. Lastly, if you pick me for Geek and Sundry Vlogs, you'll get to see lots of these guys. Let's have this one, and this one. Okay, you may go. Please pick me. I would really love to do Geek and Sundry Vlogs. I would love to make some contribution to it. I have a lot of great ideas. And I'm going to go weep now because I didn't make it to E3 this year. So I'm going to go live vicariously through other YouTubers and all of their vlogs. <laughs>